What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is VW Fitness. Today we're talking about hyped YOLO, the regular YOLO. Let's get to it. Okay, for some of you, you might be saying, wait, regular? Well, that's because we've already talked about the YOLO dark side from Hype Subs. I did a full review. You guys can check the link down in the description box or hit the card right up here. That's like their ultra high stim. You guys can find out all about it. I'll just say this. I think it's a fantastic pre-workout. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying their kind of, not really, I wouldn't say entry level, but I mean, they're, yeah. I mean, it, it's like their, their number one product, okay? And then you can step up to the number two product with the dark sides. So very excited to get into this review, guys. So just to fully disclaim, guys, Hype Subs did send me out this product along with their the other Hype uh, products that they sent. And uh, they did not tell me to say anything specific, no sort of like script, anything like that. This is a completely unpaid, unbiased review. So definitely stoked about that. I, I really enjoy, this is actually, I think one of the first companies that sent me like these little, little baby tubs. Um, I, yeah, seven servings in here, kind of an interesting one. And I think it's great because it really gets the consumer, uh, it allows the consumer to really understand the product and if they want to buy it and they want to invest it. I've said that in the dark side review. There's going to be a lot of correlation here in between the two. So make sure you guys do watch that dark side review. So if you're new to the channel, we break down the supplement review into four different parts. We're going to talk about number one, price, two, the label and ingredient breakdown, thirdly, taste. We're gonna run this for a few days. We'll come back and we'll talk about the effects. So let's get right into that price point, guys. We said this in the dark side uh, review because it's 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 expensive. Okay, this comes in at $59.99 for 25 full servings. That's right off of their website. Now, here's the thing. Again, there's a lot of correlation. So if you're if you watch the dark side one, I know you're gonna know what I'm about ready to say. But um, Hype Subs is more of a brick and mortar kind of design in terms of their business model and how they want to approach, you know, marketing and selling their products. So by brick and mortar, guys, that means they are basically trying to get into your local supplement shop, not the GNC, not the big boy stores, okay, not the vitamin shop. They want to be in your local, you know, small town. They want to be in your local small business kind of uh, shops and, and they want to market that way. And I think that's really cool. Um, now, with that price point, guys, it's going to be about $2.40 a serving, which is on the high end. And unfortunately, it is going to come in at a 1 out of 10. I said that in the dark side review. It's, it's 1 out of 10 as well. It's even more expensive. But the price point in store is roughly between $44 and $49, depending on where you live, depending on if there's any specials. And it can potentially even be lower. I don't know. There's unfortunately no hyped subs uh, available here in Austin yet. Uh, hopefully we can find a local supplement store but just kind of throwing that out there so with prices it's it's very subjective if you guys are buying it online obviously it's a one out of ten if you guys are able to go into a store and, and i think that's the idea is um to learn more about the product can really try it and maybe potentially just test it i think that's awesome here's the other thing guys they do have a one-for-one -one model where um if you buy a product they're going to give a product uh, of food to those in need, so that's kind of cool. Just a little bit of a backstory on the company again. I'm just saying this stuff, guys, because I think it's important. They're not paying me to say this, okay? You feel a little bit, I guess, better about where your money's going and, and supporting a, a good cause. All right, so let's move right into that label ingredient breakdown, guys. Uh, we start out with a 15.4 gram scoop. Like I said, this is the baby tub, so seven servings in this, but the big one is 25. We start out with 125 milligrams of the sodium as Himalayan pink salt. Uh, and then we move into six grams of L-citrulline malate, two to one, okay? Now, I've talked about citrulline malate a ton on the channel. I don't know why I still continue to say this, but uh, for me personally, you're gonna get four grams of citrulline, two grams of malic acid. I think that's still a great dose. For me personally, I'm always looking to see citrulline around four to six grams, okay? And I personally supplement citrulline on the side. I'm getting maximum dose. I'm probably flushing out uh, citrulline to be honest with you. So I'm not a, a huge fan of citrulline mouth unless it's properly dosed, and in this case it is. So that's great to see. Four grams of beta alanine, definitely gonna be responsible for those beta tingles, that flushing kind of feeling. Once it's built up in the body, it can be, you know, potentially help with lactic acid buildup and, and those sorts. It can really help with pushing through a workout, especially when you start, you know, getting a solid pump going. Two grams of betaine and hydrous. We typically see this right around two and a half grams, but I've seen it anywhere from 1.5 to two and a half. So I think this is right there in the middle. Good dose. 
Uh, 750 milligrams of the Inocido Enhanced Arginine Silicate as new level. So this is gonna be responsible for a little bit of some mental focus, kind of a nootropic, if you will, and then potentially uh, a little bit of some pumps with that Arginine Silicate in there. So honestly, good to see that as well. 350 milligrams of L-theanine. I think, um, you know, the Review Bros did a review of this as well. And uh, you guys have to get their thoughts. Make sure you check out their video. I'll link it right up here on the card uh, and a link in the description. At 350 milligrams is a lot. I'm not a huge fan of this. I I'm a stim junkie, okay? And I, I get a little bit thrown off when there's a bunch of theanine in a product. And Usually it's like a one to one ratio and that's just too much. I, I usually only like to see about 100, 150 milligrams. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Some people want that kind of very like just brought down kind of energy level, but throughout the day, um, you know, it can go either way. We'll see. So we just talked about kind of what's going to bring us down a little bit or kind of help level things off. But going back up, we have 225 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous. Obviously not on the higher end, but there is another ingredient in here. We'll get to that. I think that's a little low for me. I like to see 300, but again, I'm a stim junkie, guys. Not everyone is going to want 300 megs. And to be honest with you, it's almost better when companies do a little bit less because I can always add in a little bit more. And I feel like that's potentially how the supplement industry might be navigating and moving is, you know, stacking products and adding in kind of you know, creating your own somewhat of a pre. I don't know. I see that with some companies. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Just an opinion there. And then we have 150 milligrams of the two amino isoheptane, the DMHA guys. That's going to give us that euphoric feeling. It's going to give us that like, yes, crushing it in the gym feeling. I like DMHA guys. I like DMAA. Um, obviously not, not available anymore. Uh, personally, this is a good dose. I think it's going to be great. Looking forward to feeling those euphoric effects. And then last up, we have 100 milligrams of the dicaffeine malate. Now, I don't know if this is a 75% or if that's the actual amount of, of caffeine in this product. I would imagine it might be like a 75%, which would put us up at that 75 megs of dicaffeine. Uh, and, and that would give us the total of 300 milligrams of caffeine. Now, if it's not, then it's 100 milligrams and we're getting 325. So either way, awesome, awesome, awesome. I love the iCaffeine Malate. I love this idea of, you know, kind of capping these off. But we do have that theanine in there, so it'll be interesting to see how we go. Now, again, the label's fully disclosed, guys. It's a very simple label. There's not really anything funny in here. Uh, I think it's it's a great label. I think everything in here is efficaciously dosed. I think the theanine is a little high. Uh, but we'll kind of see how the effects go. That's probably the most important thing here. I like that there's some DMHA in here. I, I like that there's two forms of caffeine. Yeah, everything in here sounds solid. So, you know, with that, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I, I think it is, like I said, the theanine is a little high and, you know, potentially maybe a little more stimulant. But you do have that that next level product with dark side so it's it's tough to tell but nine out of ten in terms of the label let's move right into the taste guys very excited for this so we have the red smash here and i believe we have the green machine over here which has not been open but um i'm excited to give this a try guys i've not opened this now on the little baby tub it does not recommend any amount of water but we did do eight ounces of water that seems to be a kind of a standard for most supplement companies yeah, I just, I really, I, I get it. Like it's more expensive to like produce this, put it in a plastic container, really label it all up. But like the stick packs, I mean, those are great too. Cause you can like give those out for free. Whereas this is going to cost a little bit of money. Like you're gonna have to buy it. But I think for a consumer, personally for me, I think it's great. I think this is the way to go. I mean, do I wish I had a big tub of this? For sure. But you know, figures can't be choosy. One full scoop here, guys. We have uh, the red smash, like I said. All right, give this a nice good shake. All right, there's our mixability. Little bit of some foam, not too bad. Bottom is looking pretty solid here. And uh, yeah, kind of a pink kind of color. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. It's like a really refreshing, sweet fruit punch. Yeah, it's, it's tough to kind of really identify exactly. There's almost like some tropical flavor in there. Yeah, it, it tastes like a really solid fruit punch. It's light, the, the, you know, there's no sediment. I don't taste anything funky in it. The flavoring really covers up all of these actives, um, which is always nice. I just actually had a product that like 
the flavoring didn't cover up one of the actives and it was funky. So always appreciate when companies can do that. Um, with pre-workouts, I feel like unless you're pushing a ton of ingredients, you should be able to do it. So in this case, they definitely have. And now I said this, I think in the Green Machine Dark Side review, I thought that taste was phenomenal and I'm not a big green apple kind of fan. I haven't had the red smash. So yeah, it's just, just kind of bursts of fruit and I love it. It tastes, it tastes great. So anyway, guys, we're going to run this for the next few days. We're going to come back and we'll talk about the effects. In terms of the taste, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, I, I, I mean, what, what is it lacking? Why, why does it get a 10 out of 10? It, I think some people may think it's maybe just a tad too sweet. I don't think it's an issue. Um, I personally, like I've said about taste, so subjective. 9 out of 10, guys, that's a phenomenal score. Uh, I'm going to slam the rest of this back, guys. We're going to come back. We'll talk about the effects here in a few days, and uh, we'll give you guys my, my full thoughts on, on how this YOLO pre-workout goes. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys here soon. Cheers. All right, guys, let's move right into that effects section. We have ran the Hyped Sups YOLO for approximately three days. Now today was the third workout. You can actually watch my full video of the workout that I did on this pre-workout in my last vlog that went live on Friday. And um, overall, guys, let's, let's get into the effects because I think this is um, an interesting one, to say the least. Now, the first two days, I actually did not really feel any of the beta alanine tingles, but today I did. Uh, tingly, tingly, tingly. Not anything extraordinary. I would say it was it was pretty normal kind of amount. Given the circumstances, four grams of beta alanine in here. I would say the pumps were overall pretty dang good. I, I didn't really notice anything like not great about the pumps, I will say that. I would say it was about average or a little bit above average. Not like phenomenal, but uh, by no means was it a no pump, no play kind of pre-workout. I don't know, I just made that up. You know, aside from that, the energy and the focus I think is where this is highlighted. That DMHA in here definitely makes you feel like that kind of euphoric, feel good. Uh, kind of feeling. I definitely felt that the last two days. And today's workout, the leg day was was massive. The last three days have been push-pull legs. So obviously major muscle groups here. We're not hitting, you know, arms or, or shoulders kind of movements. We're hitting kind of the big, the big players. And I would say this thing kept up pretty well. I, I worked out this morning at just before, I think, seven o'clock, which is earlier than normal, fasted. All of my workouts are fasted, unless otherwise noted. Um, and overall, this thing hit pretty dang hard. So in terms of the effects, the focus I feel was good. I think the, the feel good was good. Um, and the energy was definitely high. You know, you're not getting a ton of caffeine. You're not getting a, a big crash, no ill side effects, nothing like that. Honestly, in terms of effects, it's going to be right up there with dark side at an eight out of 10. I think it's a solid, solid pre guys. I think this is one of those things that might go unnoticed. You might think, Oh, there's not a lot of ingredients in here. Oh, there's not enough caffeine in here. That DMHA and that caffeine definitely hit hard. Um, the theanine, I didn't really notice that it was like a big drop off. 350 milligrams is a lot. And honestly, I, it didn't bother me at all. And typically it would make me kind of feel drowsy, a little lethargic, a little like, eh, especially fasted. Uh, I didn't feel any of those side effects. So 350 milligrams of theanine didn't bother me. The pumps were, were good. Focus, energy, solid. 8 out of 10, guys. Definitely check this out. If you want to learn more about them, make sure you head on over to their website, www.hypesups.com. Uh, you can follow them on Instagram, at Hypesups, right there, guys. So unfortunately, guys, I only have this other kind of baby tub available uh, for samples. Only seven available. I will only do one per order. So uh, I will put this on the website. It will be first come, first serve. Uh, make sure you head on over there if you want to snag a sample of this or anything else. I do not have any more of the Hype Dark, dark Side, unfortunately. Uh, there's a possibility I might get some more. We'll see. So aside from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and bell for notifications. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.